Hi, today I'm going to demo um, a test framework called REST Assured, um, which kind of works with Java Test NG and Maven, and how you can run that with AWS and Jenkins. So I'm going to quickly show some of the things that needs to be configured before we actually execute the test. So the first thing that I want to show you is um, the AWS configuration. So what I've done is I have launched a EC2 instance. Um, and that's, uh, let me um, kind of um, minimize this a little bit so that you can see this is the Jenkins server. So this is a, a straightforward EC2 uh, instance that gets launched through AWS. And then all that I have is uh, pretty much all the configurations or the settings are the same. The only thing that I want to showcase here is the inbound rules. Um, uh, the default is uh, port 22. Uh, I've exposed it to 8080 for Jenkins. Um, 8090 is for another uh, project for uh, Tomcat. But um, I could have put it in a separate security group. But for simplicity's sake, I just put both of them into the same security group. You can add as many ports that you want that you want to expose to. So uh, for Jenkins, I have 8080. And of course, this creates a a PEM key uh, that which connects your machine uh, to AWS. Um, so that's the piece for AWS. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you was the code itself, the code base. So um, this is uh, Java, uh, Test NG, Maven, and Rest Assured. Um, the libraries are in the Palm XML and Maven builds the dependencies for these uh, libraries. Um, the two um, APIs that I'm going to test is, um, it's, it's pretty much a, a weather app, weather map uh, API, which is uh, open to the public. And I'm just trying to test the um, weather of uh, London and Los Angeles. So that's pretty much a very simple test that I'm executing here. So it is forms, uh, it basically runs through as a BDD that's uh, given when and then. And um, you kind of get a response object after this API is executed. And then you're just um, asserting the value that comes back. In this case, I'm doing it for the weather condition and city name. And uh, you can assert as many uh, fields that you want, but for simplicity's sake, I'm just uh, asserting these two values. Um, and then I'm just going to show you if we can run this locally and see what happens. Um, so I think the weather would have changed, and that's why the test failed. Uh, but that's a good way to show that um, REST Assured uh, does its job of uh, doing the actual test and seeing if the values have changed or not. Um, so let's run this. Uh, as you see, as it executes, yeah, you're right. So the things changed. Um, the weather in Los Angeles is no more uh, over class, uh, over unbroken clouds, but it is over cask cloud. So I need to change that. Um, so from broken clouds, I'm just changing it to overcast clouds. Let me see if I get the spelling right. So let's do that. Um, and just going to run it again, um, just to make sure um, our changes gets executed. The cool thing is um, the APIs run pretty fast, so um, not like UI where the browser has to render and things like that. So here we go, um, the test passed. Now um, I need to connect uh, to uh, the Jenkins server. So let me open my terminal. Um, actually, it's already done, but we can just... Uh, let me show you what, what I mean by that. So I'm just going to exit out from the server. So you need to connect um, 
your machine into EC2 to run some services. So what I'm doing is I'm SSHing into uh, Jenkins and like, like you can see, I'm using the IP address that we saw. Yeah, this is the IP address that I'm using, the public IP address. And I'm SSHing into uh, the EC2 instance. So let me do that real quick. So I am logged into the I've logged into the EC2 instance. I'm just going to be in sudo I see that means I'm I'm under root so that I can do certain operations. So now um if I I think I've already started the Jenkins server, so let me stop this first just to show you that you have to run the service for Jenkins to be launched on the browser. So I've stopped Jenkins. Um, and then I'm just going to bring the browser in here so that you can take a look at it. So I'm just um, going to copy, um, copy the IP address and I'm exposed to port 8080 and if I run it, I'm not connected because I haven't started the service. So let's go back and start the service. So I started the service now even if I go back in here, um, in here and then reload the page. It's going to start. This. Yeah, so here we go. It started Jenkins. Um, yes, yeah, so um, and this is the job that I I configured. So I have a few plugins um, that I've used, uh, which I wanted to run by real quick. Um, so I have a, a Git plugin, and then I have a, a Maven plugin. These are the two plugins that I added, and then I'm using Paul Pool SEM, which basically triggers the job every minute. So this is uh, something with cron where if you have five asterisks, it pretty much says that it's going to look for your for your trigger every minute. So that's the configuration that I have here. But other than that, this is my GitHub and it is uh, listening to master. So, and then I'm running my Maven command here. So this is pretty much for configuration. So let's go back so that, um, and stay here and now, I, the change that I made on, um, I need to push that up into GitHub. So I'm just going to see if I can, yeah, there you go. This is the file that I changed. So if I look at it really quick, um, that's the change. So that's the change that's getting pushed up and I'm going to do that now. Okay. Pushing change for demo. Okay, and then I'm going to just push origin master. I'm pushing it up to master. And now if I go back in and see, you'll see that this job will get triggered on Jenkins. So it just waits for 30 seconds to a minute for the job to get triggered. So I just pushed it and it should come in here soon. So let's see where it got pushed. It should be here soon. So there you go. Um, the job just got triggered and it's going to run now. Yes, it started running. And if you look, the console output, the job started running, and here's my change. Then I look fine. Thank you.